Okay, we are going to talk about evolution and speciation. Basically, speciation is just the evolution of new, I want to say like species from existing ones. So in this case, we can talk about natural selection. We'll talk about Darwin's natural selection, Lamarck's uh, erroneous, and we're going to talk about the requirements of natural selection. So speciation can be driven by evolution, which is a process that revolves around genetic changes called mutations. And we know that our cells mutate over time and we grow as a person. But in this case, it's in a population over a long period of time. And that's where we get the new and different um, species from. When we talk about the mechanisms of speciation, we can talk about reproductive isolation, communication, and beho behavioral uh, mechanisms that make up speciation. So basically, when we talk about Lamarck's erroneous, this is a type of study or theory that was taken into account that meant um, basically the changes that occurred in animals during life are not passed on to the animal offspring, the correct form of mechanism is that it is passed from generation to generation, thus this was disapproved. But when we talk about the Darwin's natural selection, this is where the organisms produce more offspring and they are able to survive in their environment. So Darwin's natural selection does come over Lamarck's erroneous. So what are exactly the requirements for natural selection to occur? We can talk about reproduction, reproduction in our cells, um, hereditary where things are passed down the line from generation to generation, variation in fitness or organisms, or the variation in individual characters among, among members of the population. So other things that also fall into those categories are going to be the phenotypic variations and in this case, these have to exist. It is very uh, clear that there can't, it can't be driven natural selection if there's no phenotypic variation. So the variations must lead eventually to the reproductive successes of the process. The phenotypic variations mostly have genetic bases. And in this case, that's where the permissive drivers of speciation occur. So when we go back to all of it in general, evolution can't happen unless speciation is being driven by it. So the evolution of like the world, people, and all that, there was different theories that based off of everything, which was the Lamarck's erroneous, the Darwin's natural selection. As we grow, as our cells mutate, it's just basically falls under that it is passed on from generation to generation it's not for example when an animal has a certain kind of color it doesn't automatically just transfer to its offspring we do change uh unless it's like you're having like twins or other situations that cause for you to be um, alike in that sense which is why lamarck's erroneous was disapproved because it was not true so as we continue talking about evolution and what falls under it, just to recap the video, evolution is a change in the genetic composition of a population over successive generations. So we can kind of go off the theory that was based that we are derived from apes and over time we have mutated into what we look like now, what we are now, how our fingerprints are our hair our noses and the way we are able to just function as a human so we can kind of go back to the photo that we have seen over time since we were children when we we're first taught about biology um it would be the ape photo where how we started and how over time we just mutated and in this case there is only one way that um, evolution could not occur and that would be without the genetic changes happening in, popu in the population so if we were all to look the same that would mean that the natural selection theory that was talked about by Darwin would not be in effect we would all be the same we would all be doing the same thing if nothing had changed over all this time 
one of the many examples that we can talk about that cannot cause evolution would be somatic variations and this pertains to the diversity in you know in plants or any non-germinal cell or tissue it will not make any change and therefore that causes it to not have evolution